I'm Kristen for Guns.com, and today we got our hands on Marlin's brand new model 1894 lever action in 44 Magnum. Whew, that is a fun gun to shoot. The lever gun magic continues brewing at the home of Ruger and now Marlin under that new Ruger ownership. Marlin has put out now three models as we're doing this video. The model 1895 and 4570, the model 336 in 3030 Winchester, and right now the 1894 and 44 Mag and 44 Special. Let's take a look at what we have here in this 1894, starting with the barrel. We have that 20.25 inch round steel cold hammer forged barrel. The sights are fully adjustable and what we've come to expect on Marlin rifles. We've got that semi buckhorn rear style and a kind of brass bead front blade that's also drift adjustable. The stocks are outstanding. They're checkered American black walnut. We love that made in America and using American walnut. Black walnut also being a nice touch. Our particular gun has fairly run of the mill wood grain but is still a darn good looking rifle. That black walnut culminates in a thin rubber recoil pad but let's be honest there's really no recoil to speak of at all in a 44 Magnum fired from a fairly heavy built rifle. You'll see on the rifle we have two safeties. There's a traditional half cock hammer safety as well as the push button manual cross bolt safety. So that's something to be aware of. Not all lever guns use that safety mechanism. If you like it, you have it here. The rifle feeds here through that side loading gate on the receiver. You'll see we have the full length magazine tube, which when we're loading up with the 44 Magnum handgun rounds, holds 10 rounds of Magnums, or if you're shooting the slightly shorter 44 Specials, you're getting an extra round, so 11 rounds with the 44 Special. So that's plenty of handgun chambered firepower in the Model 1894. Coming right out of the cardboard box, the Model 1894 looks and feels compact, tight, and strong. You can kind of get that feeling when you pick up a gun out of the box. Some feel chintzy, some feel solid and well built, and it's definitely the latter on the 1894. There's no wiggle, there's no wobble here. It's a nice tight gun. Running that action gives you the feel of quality. It weighs 6.4 pounds empty and is only 37.75 inches in overall length. So it's a fast handling, fast cycling gun. True lever action fans from the old days will certainly be familiar with the 1894 design. This goes all the way back to 1893 when the patent came about, well ahead of its time, and that's the repeating firepower and the particular design of the receiver and the bolt. It's the first rifle patented to use the flat top, side eject receiver with this square bolt design. So this is unique to the Marlin 1894 and we're happy to see that they remain true to that original design. Of course we get some improvements from modern machinery and Ruger has been very clear when they took over Marlin that they're paying special attention to really improving the machinery and improving the quality control on every piece that goes out the door. Ruger has really remained true to the quality that Marlin has been known for for generations. Talk to me and I'll tell you I love the old classic rifles. Most of the time I'll take them over a new one. I just like the patina, I like the way that they've been made, and I like the feel of a classic old rifle that's been broken in and has a story to tell. But I'm just as happy today to report that Marlin is doing uh, a true duty to the 1894 design and to the other rifles that they're putting out. I'm not seeing any fit and finish issues, I'm not feeling any issues with the quality of the build, and no gun is worth its salt if it doesn't shoot. So of course we headed out to the range with a nice sampling of 44 mag and 44 special ammo and we were impressed. All right, we are set up on the range here at 50 yards from our target with the Marlin 1894 and 44 Magnum. We've run some specials through it, but we're shooting just the mags right now. And I'm shooting the Hornady Lever Revolution 225 grain FTX projectiles to do our grouping here. I'm testing as much for function and the feeding and cycling as I am for accuracy because this is not a precision rifle, but I expect practical, reliable performance from the gun on the range and in the field. So let's go with three shots and see what we can do with the standard iron sights. Here 
there's one. Now I can't see them from here, so we'll shoot our group and then we'll go take a look. feels good and you'll notice here even with full powered loads there's not a lot of recoil to a 44 mag in a rifle. Let's take a walk and see how we did. All right, here's a closer look at our target there, shot at 50 yards with the iron sights. Um, I could come up a little bit, but I'm feeling pretty good. I've got the elevation on that rear sight maxed out to get to this point with the 225 grains. If it was me and I'm keeping this gun long term, I would add a Skinner peep sight. Just my personal preference on iron sights. I feel more confident with them, but I'll tell you what, this is not bad for me shooting iron sights out of the box. That's darn good inside of an inch at 50 yards. If you put a scope on it, you'll probably tighten things up even more. You can mount a rifle scope, mount a red dot, lots of options, but the gun is cycling well, it's accurate, and it's doing everything that you could want it to do. Well, let's face it, the 44 mag in any rifle is not a 200 yard shooter. I opted not to add a scope. It would be easy enough to do that. The receiver's drilled and tapped. Our groups were plenty impressive, we thought, with iron sights. I'm not a self-professed excellent iron sight shooter but I felt good about doing that and doing them fairly quickly. But the point is it's a light recoiling, fast shooting, enjoyable range time companion, and even a darn good closer range hunting companion. MSRP on the 1894 Classic is set at $1,239. And while that may seem like a high price, and of course it is a high price, the demand is so far outstripping production that we're having a hard time finding these in any gun shop or anywhere online. And a lot of folks will say, I'm sure we can watch the comments and say, oh, I'll go out and grab an, a used one for half or a third of that price. And while I would wholeheartedly agree if that was true, it's simply not anymore. At the end of the day, price aside, the Marlin new 1894 Classic is one heck of a gun that we enjoyed on the range and in the field. I'm Kristen for Guns.com. Thank you so much for joining me today as we took a look at another great lever action. Be sure to check out our Guns.com vault if you're in the market for this one or one of the older models of Marlins. And be sure before you leave, hit that like, share, and the subscribe button so that you stay up to date on all of our gun content.